Hi everybody, I'm Sarah, the Real Simple Mama. We are out here with the flock. They're enjoying a little bit of treats. But what we wanted to show you today is something really fun and exciting. It is a new little play area space that we have had designed for our flock. It is not in there yet. We've just finished waterproofing it and we wanted to show you this was a gift that was made for me and for the girls by my sister. Ta-da! So it is a little chicken play zone and what she has done is upcycled some old pallets and taken them apart and then made a little zone where they've got a ramp that they can climb up. They can sit there. We can put treats up here. We can hang a chain up underneath it. And then what I have done is added the plastic tarp underneath with a staple gun so that in theory, when it rains, like we're supposed to get storms tomorrow, then um, the chickens, if they can't fit or if they're kind of bickering with each other there in that covered space, then they'll have yes. this whole space here. So they'll have two places to be safe from the rain and they'll just be able to climb up here and have some other stuff to do, especially in the winter when all of our plants have gone dormant and there's not any fresh growth. So it's been sealed for um, water and for UV resistance. Mm -hmm. And so now we're gonna carry it in and see what the girls think about it. All right, this thing is heavy and we're gonna try to get them used to it. And Blue was the first one to run over, maybe just cause she's food motivated. So I wanted something for them to climb on sort of like a little outside roost for them to hang out on. And my sister likes to make things out of, like I said, upcycled pallets and just extra wood that she finds. Tick, 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 tick. It does have a waterproof seal on it. But the other problem was with the food and water there under the coop, all eight girls don't fit there comfortably when we have a storm. In the morning and in the evening, it's not an issue because they're not in there for very long. But for example, tomorrow it's supposed to rain all day. And the last time we had storms, the girls that are on the bottom of the pecking order, which are my two brown hens right here, they're sisters, that's Blue and Flopsy, they were, they were trying to hide under those plastic chairs, which of course are not solid protection because they have slats in them. And so then the poor girls <laughs> were still all wet. So, my sister offered to make this for us, which we really, really appreciate, right? Mm -hmm. But then I thought to put that plastic on it, and I mean, it's not going to be perfect, of course, but it will be something, as you can see, per the size of the chickens. At least half the flock will fit under here comfortably. Now, if you guys want to grab something and put it halfway up the ramp, can I, can I get the ramp? yeah, you can. And the kids are out here helping me. They've been so excited since this was dropped off. Um, this was part of my birthday present from my sister, which I really appreciate. So now we're going to, don't put that up there. It's all right. Don't put it up there. Come on, chick So I wanted to show you how you can make some cute little, you can make an A-frame that's almost like a short little ladder out of wood. You want to make sure that you use, um, I wouldn't think that toxic paint would be a problem because I don't foresee chickens pecking it extensively, but you do want to make sure that anything that's been painted or sealed, mm -hmm. come on Blue, you let it air dry before you get it close to your chickens because they are really sensitive to respiratory stuff. So just the fumes of the paint, like in other words, if you were gonna build something like this, don't paint it or seal it like in the chicken run. Do it outside and then bring it in once it's dry. Come on, chicks. Okay, babe, can you lower it down one step? Oh, look, look, blue, smart little girl. Lower it down one, let's see. Come on, chick. And this is Bluebird. Get it, Blue. Tick, 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 tick. Add a girl blue. Come on, chick, chick. Yeah, see, she's going to slip on the plastic. And if it ends up not being really helpful in regards to being, whoop, whoop, sorry, blue, in regards to being waterproof, then I'll just take that plastic off. But this was just a really cute design and a cute little present and something that hopefully the girls will find useful and we wanted to show you. So let us know in the comments if you upcycle things, if you've made fun little play areas. I know Rich in Florida has bought a little extra wooden feeding station that's just a covered little A-frame where you can hang up food and water. There's all different kinds of play things you can find if you look on Pinterest. I've found a ton that I love. 
but this was our first little thing and hopefully it will be useful as far as rain protection as well as just something fun for our girls to play with and poop on, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay. You guys can stay in the shot. Mm -hmm. Come on, Chichi. Get it, Grace. So you're welcome to keep watching if you want to. We're going to see what happens. Of course, this is unscripted and my chickens are not trained. <laughs> right, Grace? Come on, Gracie. Chick, 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 chick. No, she's not. No, she's just... Yeah, it's okay. That happens every day. <laughs> Come on, chick, chick. Blue's hanging out underneath it. You like it, Blue? What do you think, Blue Bird? Let me show you this perspective over here. Don't step in the pool. Yeah, it's okay. Now, when chickens are roosting, they do roost on flat bars, and these are diagonal. So, of course, they're not going to be sleeping here. They're going to be sleeping inside the coop. But just a cool little thing for them to hang out with. Chick, chick. Chick, 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 chick. And some of the flock. Hmm. Yeah, I thought about grabbing one and putting them up there, but I won't. The rest of the flock is like, um, I'm good. Come on, chick, chick. Mm-hmm. We got to see if they'll go up there, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. Can you guys say bye? Thanks for watching. Bye.